it's Liv. Today I am bringing you three more easy vegan after school snack ideas. So just like my other video, these recipes are aimed to be quick and easy and stuff that you can just make right when you get home from school. It's not going to take too long and it'll hold you over until dinner. So I don't really have to explain too much. I hope you guys like the recipes. I hope you try them out and if you do, let me know below. I think that's everything I have to say for now, so let's get into the video. So the first thing you need for the chickpea tuna melt is about a tablespoon of chopped green onion. Then you need about a tablespoon of finely chopped bell peppers and I just use red bell peppers because I love the flavor of them so much. Then in a bowl you need half a cup of chickpeas, a tablespoon of vegan mayo, and then you just want to mash that up, not so much that it becomes like a paste, but you want it to be a little bit chunky, kind of like tuna, I guess. <laughs> then just add in the bell pepper and onion and a sprinkle of black pepper and stir it up. Then on an English muffin, just put a few spoonfuls of the chickpea tuna mixture. Then I topped it with some vegan cheese. I used the Daya cheddar shreds. Then in a toaster oven or an oven on broil, just bake it for a few minutes just until the cheese is melted. And there you go. This is seriously so good and in my opinion, way better than tuna. The first thing you need is a microwave safe mug and then you're going to add four tablespoons of flour, I used spelt, a tablespoon of cocoa, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and just stir that up, two teaspoons of pumpkin puree or applesauce, a teaspoon of oil and four tablespoons of non-dairy milk. Then just stir that well to make sure that there's no flour hiding on the bottom. Add in a tablespoon of chocolate chips, which is optional but highly recommended. Then you're going to bake it in the microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on how fudgy you like it. I like mine really fudgy, so I actually like to under bake it. But this is the texture it has if you bake it for a little bit longer. As you can see, it's quite a bit more cakey. So for the spinach dip, you need two large handfuls of spinach and you're just going to chop that up so that it's a little bit smaller. Then in a high speed blender, add three quarters of a cup of cashews, three quarters of a cup of water, a quarter cup of chickpeas or white beans, a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a quarter teaspoon of garlic and onion powder, and two teaspoons of lemon juice or vinegar. And then you're just going to blend that up until it's really, really smooth. In a medium frying pan, just add a splash of water or oil and saute the spinach until it gets a bit wilted. Then just add in the creamy dip and you're going to stir this until it thickens. So please keep an eye on it because it thickens really quickly, much quicker than I thought it would but it doesn't take very long, so you're not gonna be like standing here stirring this forever. Um, just make sure to keep an eye on it. I think mine took about three minutes. And then I just used a spatula to kind of scrape it all off the sides of the pan and put it into a bowl. I served mine with some Greek pita bread, but you could also use regular bread or 
vegetable sticks or nacho chips, anything you want. This dip has so many good vitamins and nutrients in it and it is a totally healthy version of the regular spinach dip that you've probably had before. So I hope you guys enjoyed those recipes. They are all stuff that I would have loved to make as soon as I got home from school. And I did kind of make those things, just the non-vegan versions, like back when I would come home from school. But if I had known that there was a way to make them vegan, I obviously would have done it. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Leave any video requests you have below or any questions or comments. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys next time.